So let's see. This first one, we oh, where are we at? Oh, L underscore D underscore two drippy Carter. Simply says this, man. Just like that. Bam. Ebron number two. Life comes fast. <laughs> Lord, we just hot right into that thing. Jeez. All right. All well, didn't right. Well, then they list them both as starters before the game. Right? Yes, because they both got, I want to say they both got intro, right? I wasn't down there, but from my understanding, I, I thought they either. both got intro. At least that's what I was seeing from the people that were actually in the game. Okay. Yeah. But they both played a fair amount at the beginning. Yeah, they definitely did. Like, it's not one of those things, from my standpoint, it looked clear cut in terms of playing time. Mm-hmm. Frymouth got the red zone targets. Ebron got some throughout the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. But you want to talk about hands, Frymouth brings it. Yes, he does. I'm not. I'm not opposed to just saying Frymouth is tight end one. Trust me, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not either, baby. You, you come on now. You, you know. But I, I like Ebron too, as long as he's catching the ball. Obviously, he doesn't block the best, but yeah, he's still a weapon. No, I agree, like he man. looked good the rest of the game after that yeah. drop. I think that the biggest thing is when you see the drop, and obviously Pat having the performance that he was having. That's of the biggest reason because we've seen Ebron have drops before, and now you have this young kid who is looking like he could be pretty legit. I know from what I've seen from him, every practice and training camp, that's been the normal. That's not outlier. You were that's, like me with uh, right. Ben. You were like that with yeah, Pat. Yeah, we've been Gone. seeing that. Not surprised. Yeah, we've been seeing him do that consistently every single practice that he's been out there. So it was only a matter of time before he got to get out there with seven because he hasn't had that opportunity in a game just yet. And it looked like how it was supposed to look. So yeah, man. I, I yeah, I wasn't surprised by him. I love that action right there. Love that. I guess that's the question. Then, like, yeah, what are we gonna do? Well, put it like this: we just have so many weapons on offense. We do, we do. I they'll still run both of those guys to start out, but if Pat keeps playing like that, it's gonna be very hard to limit his opportunities to limit his role because there's nothing Ebron did necessarily that you don't think Pat, Pat could do, do better. Or at least do or do better. I mean, we talk about the catching. Pat is more shorthanded. So that I like better. I do think Ebron is a little bit better in his routes, like in terms of the whole field. But right now in the red zone, I just feel like with Pat's consistent hands and his ability to legit go up and control his body, that catch he made, the the second one where he's like changing his body midair, he does that routinely. Like that happens a ton. So for me, like, I feel like, I'm leaning more heavier towards him because if that was Ebron's bread and butter, the receiving ability and the catching ability, well, we know that Pat is a more consistent version of that. And I still like Pat way more blocking than I do Ebron. Now, Ebron, he's still trying, but one can actually block, whereas the other guy is more so I'm going to try really hard, but we know what the result is going to be in the end. So, yeah, for me, man, I this yeah, I'm just counting down. It's a countdown, bro. <laughs> tell you, Pat is that dude, bro. We saw it on tape. That's what we, that's what we wanted him. Well, and you know Ben really he liked Heath. You heard, you heard what he said, right? He's talking to Pat and showing Pat some things. Like, this is what Heath used to do. Well, you saw at the end, <laughs> Pat, uh, Ben was like, yeah, man, I was supposed to keep him a secret. But, you know, he reminds me of another Titan that we had that I played where I'm like, Dude, yeah. Pat's, Pat's way more athletic, though, than Yo, Heath. Way more, yes. Way absolutely. More. Which is why they were calling him Baby Gronk. Yeah. And he's a little more thin than Gronk, though. He even. is. So that's- and he's a little shorter. Gronk is built like a legit power four bro he look like he should be on somebody's basketball court bro it looks like pat moves better than him though yeah just i, I don't know if you want to say agility smoother because gronk he just looks healthier like when i think of gronk i always think of him like he's like laboring. lanky out yeah, there yeah yeah it's like still a beast almost. like he yeah. just dominated people but mm-hmm. yeah pat can stay healthy like this and just keep doing what he's doing hey, yeah he, be lethal no nah, that was that was good that's a nice way to start that out right. can i talk about the good people over at manscape yeah. Can we talk about them for a little bit? I think because so. football season is here. Okay. And we've been seeing a lot of people ball out with the pig skin. The ball is pretty smooth. And you know what else is pretty smooth? Your delicate friends, when you use your manscape, you know, that lawnmower 4.0, that performance package 4.0, hot guy summer is still technically in effect. We got a, like, we got like a couple weeks just left before it ends, okay? So you want to make sure that you are smooth and trim, just like that pigskin ball is. When we saw Seven throwing that teddy bird to big old Pat, we want to have ours smooth just like that. So it's aerodynamic, baby, aerodynamic. And the best way to do that. Is to use that promo code. You know we gotta have a promo code for you, baby. And that promo code is Moats. M O 
A-T-S. Use that promo code. You get your 20% off along with free shipping so you can be flying through, feeling great, and winning at life like our team here in Pittsburgh does. So that is that. But shout out to the good guys at Manscaped.